What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy, and I'm coming at you with uh, uh, the, the final, the finale, the end of the Acolyte. It's, it's been a, been a long, long, long journey, guys. I'm, I'm sorry to see it go. I'm sorry to see it end. Uh, not really. I'm, I'm kind of happy it's over because my lord. Every week. I, I sit here and I ask myself, how can this show get stupider? There, there's no way the next episode can be worse than the last. And every week I am just surprised and amazed at the ability for the show to always one up itself. Like, 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 I don't think people can get this through their head enough. Every episode has seemingly made the last episode even like just doubled down and continue to make itself show that it's worse and worse and worse. And this episode is no different. And, and they, they don't stop very fast. They, they, they don't, they don't take time to like let you breathe. They just go right into it. And you come over here. We start with OSHA having the mask on and, you, you know, she's wearing the mask. She's, she's doing that stuff. She, she's breathing like we last left her. And then she starts freaking out, and, uh, like getting in touch all of a sudden, like having some sort of spastic attack. Uh, Kwame starts like coming over to try to take it off. And then he can't and his eyes go black. And then you start seeing him in like, like a shadow realm and stuff. Like, don't know what the hell is going on. All of a sudden, weird shit's, shit's happening. I, I can't tell you. No context for anything. All of a sudden, freaking out. Okay, that's it. And then Kwame takes the helmet off, asks if she's okay, and she's like, I, I, I'm good, and she's got to kill Soul. I saw May about to kill Soul, and she's holding a lightsaber, and it's so bad, so we, we need to go stop her and stuff. And, you know, I saw the future, and then she says, the future isn't fixed. Harkening back to episode three, when Anakin did everything he could to try and change the future you're gonna see a lot of episode three references you're gonna see a lot of revenge of the sith references here because uh the bad guys win okay the bad guys win so we the, he they talk and stuff and serious moment cut over to soul and uh, may may's breaking out of stuff soul's having like this weird panic attack on the ground just circling stuff and then somehow he ends up saying uh, you know, we're, we're going to now call the Jedi and I'm, we're going to put this all together and uh, all this stuff. It, it's so weird, like what's actually being said and how this is all going out. And he's talking about how I, I did the right thing, you know, talk about I'm sorry I killed your mom. And the whole time I'm just thinking her mom came a freaking ghost, scary demon monster. You reacted because it came out of nowhere. You're seeing May for, like turn into a scary ghost monster. Bad things are happening. You didn't know what was going on. And then her mom, after you killed her, said, I was going to let Osha go with you. All that scenario, Soul did nothing wrong. Okay, but they're, they're trying to blame him on the mother's death, blah, blah, blah. And uh, then he goes like, my biggest regret is I didn't save you both. I needed to save you both because the truth is, and then she breaks out of her chain links, uh, knocks Soul to the ground, runs away, and then starts heading over to the emergency shuttle pod. Yeah. Yeah, it gets into it. Soul tries to get into it, can't get into it. We watch the shuttle pod escape, but before we, before we get there, uh, everything starts. Uh, I, I, need to, I need to show you this scene. I, I need to show you this scene because, my God, it is just dumb. There she is in the emergency shuttle pod. This isn't the best picture. There's another one with that helmet on and it, 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 it don't fit. Episode starts going on. Soul goes after her. She's there in the shuttle pod with a helmet that does not fit. And she decides to randomly try to fly over to some rings. I don't know like how she's planning on getting anywhere. Cause she specifically says this ship doesn't have light speed, but she's just going to try to like ditch him. Oh, there's a perfect picture of, of her without a helmet. Well, with the helmet, that thing don't fit. This is the most ridiculous. Im Actually, I'll, I'll correct myself. This is far from the most ridiculous image 
in this entire episode. There's going to be a scene that I just play out for you guys because I, I, it's so, what the hell? So, okay, her plan is to now fly into the rings, like Saturn rings, and try to ditch Soul. And this also shows you that nobody knows how actual physics work within Star Wars because this ship flying into a bunch of rings and then Soul ship also gets into the rings as well. Yeah, they'd be torn up and destroyed. It's an asteroid field. Yeah, it's a cool looking scene. Guess what? It doesn't work that way. Episode one, well, not episode one, episode four, but Star Wars, A New Hope, uh, they enter into an asteroid field and it's dangerous. Into Empire Strikes Back, they get into an asteroid field, it's dangerous. Attack of the Clones, uh, atta yeah, Attack of the Clones, get into an asteroid field, it's dangerous. Magically, these two ships can just survive asteroid fields. And multiple asteroid fields, yeah, these things will just tear up both these ships and you'd be dead. Just the reality, but... They have this whole chase in this asteroid field where we watch as they're just breaking up rocks. They're just doing stuff. And the only reason the chase is ended is because rodent freak Basil, who he's still there, randomly attacks the, the ship for, for no reason. I don't know. He just says, yeah, we're not doing this anymore and pulls the power and, and everything freaks out. And then he runs away. I don't know why he just did it. So then OSHA start, well, May, whichever one it is, starts plummeting down to the planet. Oh, by the way, this is the mother planet, the witch planet. I don't remember what it's called. Like whatever they're, they're on the planet. Okay. That that's the whole thing that they're going to be crashing at cut over to Coruscant where Nepo lady talks to Finn boy, br like British a a Alabama guy. Mog, I think is his name. And he's like, Hey, some senators here to see you. And, uh, she's all like, I can't, I don't have time to talk to him. Well, he's in the control room. She's all like, Oh, you shouldn't have put him in there. We have this whole back and forth with her and a senator. And the senator, I guess, wants to dig into the Jedi. And I'm like, who the heck is this guy? Oh yeah. Last time we saw her, they were talking about a senator. This would have been interesting to layer in throughout all this but no random dude shows up last minute don't know who he is he wants to dig into the jedi and stuff and they start having this weird back and forth and informs her about the murders and stuff and he's like i hope you have all this you know the murderer caught and blah 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 and one of the big things is yet again the dude says that the jedi are bad and that they need to be looked into because their pride is going to get them you taken out they think they control that which can be uncontrolled and nepo baby lady goes like we can we don't control the force we you work with the force you know we're, we're one with it and he's like we're not talking about the force we're talking about the motion and whenever a jedi finally loses his emotion all things will be lost and he will lead to your end hearkening on to anakin oh look another revenge of the sith moment uh, thing lands move on we cut over to osha and freaking quiet me queer me whatever walk into the ship because this is going to be their plan to get there because of the whole thing and uh they're discussing stuff and then why me goes like i should be able to you know train you 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 should be trained this is your last chance and she's like no I, i'm not gonna take this i'm not as corrupted as my sister yes she is uh and then he's all like well your sister took it that when she got offered and then then we get the scene randomly as the ship's flying away. We, we cut back to the cave for some reason and we watch as a hand reaches out and it's kind of hard to see it, but you see him. See why Mir's master. That's Darth Plagueis, everybody. Yeah. Yep. They put Darth Plagueis in it. Oh, yay! This show's already destroyed the lore. This show's already destroyed canon. Why freak out any longer that Dark Plagueis is in it? Like, like, come on. He's there. Are we really shocked? He shouldn't even be alive, but no, he's there. Oh, by the way, at the end of this all, I'll, I'll spoil it now. Osha and May are the reason Darth Plagueis decides he wants to start tampering around with life, which then leads to Anakin, the Force creating Anakin. And uh, didn't say this and didn't know about this until relatively recently. Apparently, Mother Anasea was becoming the Force, so the Force is Mother Anasea. So Mother Anasea made Anakin. Yeah. I'm not shocked. But okay. Uh, Soul lands. 
somber music I wasn't even paying attention during this scene. Oh yeah, he turns on the tracking so that he can the Jedi can find him and then he walks into the forest. There's Basil. I don't know what Basil is doing. Whatever. Cut over to Nepo, baby, talking to somebody on a box. And then, a, like, weird dude hops in and goes, like, he's finally turned on the, you know, Soul's turned on his tracker again. We we can find him. And he's on Brendock. That's the name of the planet. Yeah, he's on Brendock. And uh, Jedi Master Nepo lady's like, why is he here? You know what? Gather up all as many knights as you can. We're going to go uh, go and find him. We then watch as Osha and Quimir come into the planet utilizing a ship that has really weird seating and really weird abilities because I got to be honest with you guys. I don't I don't get it because as they're flying in, Osha magically like turns off Quimir's ability to do anything and takes full control of the ship. And then I I'm just sitting here like, wait. So if you two are supposed to be helping like fly each other, maybe this is a bat ship meant for battle and stuff like this. Why can one of you guys turn off the other one and the other one can't turn anything back on? So w w what's the whole design premise of that? That, that that's stupid. That, that's idiotic. Wh why ever have this as an actual design feature in a sh starship? Like th none of that makes logical sense. So, uh, okay, so she has full control. She's going to fly them over to, like, the compound and land near it so, to do all that stuff. You have Soul there at the compound, walking around and just remembering everything, yelling out for May because he's looking for her. Uh, just, and then it's just mainly walking. And then we come over to Osha, magically then appearing at the front gate. By the way, uh, last week we learned that this gate is completely broken, and it's broken from the inside the inside out because may broke it from the inside out they can't fix it they can't get in uh apparently all it took was osha fiddling with this control thing to get it to work again even if it was broken in reverse oh, oh okay so yeah they come over here osha says we need to get the door open in order to get in and then she hears uh like Quimir say uh are you you, th you sure about that and then she turns away and he's he's gone it just disappeared ninja away we then cut over to soul walking through the compound goes over to where my Osha was reacts to it starts walking away uh we end up seeing may climb up from the chasm and we'll finally get how she survived a little bit it, it's stupid and then like this show this show is just stupid nothing there's still more mysteries and by the way they really want that season two so okay uh, Soul's walking around. May gets over to where freaking uh, the bedroom was and starts reacting to all that stuff and, you know, b being very sorrowful and mournful for what happened. And I'm just sitting here like, yeah, you killed everybody. You started a fire and tried to kill everybody, but okay, she she wants to be sorry. Osha gets into the system. Uh, Soul starts breathing heavily. And then Quimir appears after ninjing everywhere. He, he just shows up behind her and goes like, thank you for bringing him to me. And then they start having a battle. Yep, they start Jedi battle lightsabers flying all over the place, and oh, I, I have to, I have to play part like this scene because this was this was ridiculous, the, like completely insane. What 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 happened here? You can see, you can see the freaking the strings. You can see it all, guys. It's just there. Are we shocked? Are we shocked at all that this is happening? This is not the only quick time event that they do. They do others. They're starting to do those whole bullet scenes in slow motion. It's so bad. Guys, it's hideous. So, okay, they're, they're still doing their fight. I will destroy you if I must and continue to do the fight. Uh, Freaking dude pulls out both lightsabers, start, starts dual wheeling. Freaking soul knocks one out the way. They keep fighting. Then... Then Quimir ends up like, like th this fight was just hideous and horribly choreographed. In the end, though, like, freaking Soul pushes him away, gets him on the ground, and I, I kid you not, th they keep fighting in this really weird way. Eventually, both lightsabers get on other sides. 
Quimir is coming to run up to Soul. Soul's like in this weird pincer move, and he summons up the freaking force to do like this mega force push to just push everything away. It, it, it's just idiotic. It's weird. I don't even know why they're doing this, but dude gets pushed away, and that's that. We then cut back over to Osha finding May, and they start talking. And then May's all like, I, I've come to find you to beat you. And Osha's all like, I'm sorry. The truth is soul killed mom and he caused all this. And May's like, no, he didn't. You, she, she, you killed her and all this stuff. And like, she's apologizing and they're having this back and forth. And this whole time, I'm just like, you, you like, I, I kid you not. Osha ends up saying, no, May, whichever ends up saying, the jet we locked down the compound because the jedi were coming in we were having issues we locked them up because of that and i'm like no you locked the compound before the jedi got there you locked down everything before the jedi got there you made it incapable to escape before the jedi got there you didn't even know the jedi were coming you just did it but a uh, retcon so okay she's filling them all in telling her soul soul kill him uh killed bomb whatever and then uh freaking she's all like you didn't fail because of uh, yourself. You failed because of soul. And then they start fighting and another very bad fight. Oh God. Like, and they're trying to do this whole dichotomy thing and it's not working where freaking they're, they're doing the whole like d Jedi sisters now wearing black, good sister, bad sisters now wearing white, two sides of the same coin, all the morally gray garbage, blah, blah, blah. And then they start mimicking like the exact same moves. And they do this weird thing where like Osha does this move and they immediately jumps over to the freaking soul and Quimir battling, do, like doing similar tactics. And it's, it's just, it's so bad. And they end up seeing like the Jedi ship coming in up above and souls are like, your, your, your time's come. They're here for you. And Quimir like, no, they're not cut back over to may and osha they see the ship and they keep fighting back and forth back and forth lightsaber crackling all, all this stuff almost loses by the end of it freaking uh Quimir's lightsaber gets destroyed unable to fight soul has him dead to rights ready to kill him and he waits so long that by the end of it freaking may shows up does some attack and then launches his light steals his lightsaber yeah oh uh, through all these fights eventually freaking may left osha and ninja her i don't just ninja you know disappeared so okay now they're here in the courtyard may has a lightsaber quimir's like yes now strike him down like i told you to and she decides not to throws his lightsaber breaking parts of it i'm, I'm pretty sure it should be you know un unusable now but no, it, it can still work. And then she's like, I want you to turn yourself in and confess your crimes. What? I, do, I don't understand May's motivations at all. You've wanted to kill him. You've wanted to not kill him. You want him to confess his crimes. You wanted to do this. You wanted to do that. It's all over the place with what her actual motivations are. I, I can't tell at all. Like, like why, why are you doing any of this? If you want to, him to confess his crimes, why did you run away from the ship and try to do all that stuff? Just, just confess his crimes. I, I don't get it. He was going to tell everybody everything. I don't, I don't get anything. Okay, so uh, he says, I wanted to protect you both. You know, Soul's like, I wanted to protect you both because in reality, you're the same person, Osha. You're, you're the same, May. You, you are one of the same. And your mother had this ability to, to make you. And I needed you guys as proof to the council because of the convergence that your mother was able to use to make you. You're the same person. And I needed you as proof. And I'm like, but you had proof. You had the blood. You knew where they were. You turn it in. There's your proof. But apparently you needed the girls as proof. And the reason you wanted to save both of them and you, you couldn't. So then you took May and just, or Osha, whichever one you, you took the other sister and he couldn't tell them the truth because she was too old and they wouldn't train her otherwise. And I'm like, then why did they let you train her at all? If she's too old, it's all over the place. None of it made sense. And by the end of it, he said he couldn't leave her to be alone because he didn't have you. That, that that's the ultimate reason why he did this. As he's saying all this, Osha appears behind him. It was like, is it all true? 
And he's like, yes, it is all true. And he starts walking up to her, starts telling him, her and like, I've always wanted to tell you. And I never did, but I never couldn't because I, I love. And then he can't speak because now he's being choked. Yeah. Uh, Osha now has been able to tap into the force finally after all these years and is angrily force choking soul because she's a villain. They're all villains. She's now murdering soul and she's watching him. She has his lightsaber in his hand. He's, she's forcing her down to the ground and it's this whole tragic moment. And you watch a soul just looks up at her and, 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 and tears. And as this is all going on, freaking Osha just kills him. Osha's the one that kills him. We knew they were the same person. Her, the future was that May would kill Soul while holding a lightsaber. And in reality, Osha saw herself killing Soul, holding a lightsaber. And it's just supposed to harken back again to Revenge of the Sith when Anakin saw Padme dying and wanted to prevent it. But in reality, he's the reason she died. You liking it so far, guys? Yeah, I'm not either. Okay, they ended up doing, like, they're now all shocked that she killed him. She's, you know, on her knees crying out. And, oh, by the way, there's a scene, because the whole... Red lightsabers are now bent by like this force bleeding stuff that doesn't make any logical sense. It's how you like corrupt a kyber crystal. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. But yeah, and there was a scene where you start seeing the light, the kyber crystal getting infected with the dark side. And it's this whole moment. So then Quimir is like walking up to her to like try to put, put his hand on her and she lashes out ignites the lightsaber and then you watch as the lightsaber goes from red to blue or blue to red because now it's a corrupted lightsaber corrupted kyber crystal and they're like oh my god she's a villain she's a sith yeah all the jedi touch down this horde of very diverse individuals come out and they're like find them and do, do all that quimir and all of them start talking oh because yeah yeah this was a, a theory that uh Frickin' Nepo Baby had a, a gosh darn Padawan at one point, and it was Quimir, and guess what? Yes, Quimir was her Padawan. He can feel her. She can feel him because his helmet's off. He immediately, like, throws his helmet back on. Is like, you are here, and they, they're they like, I'll follow him. Oh, and then magically from nowhere, Basil shows up. Yeah, and then freaking Alabama British dude, twink guy, bends down and goes like, Basil, where did you come from? You think I'm lying? Here, I'll, I'll do. I'll, I have the freaking closed captions on. I'll show you. That is exactly what he says. Speaking Tyrion, Basil, you're all right. What a relief, guys! I can't make this stuff up. I I can't make this stuff up. They had to have Basil there, and it's like, well, Basil just appears. Oh my God, Basil, where did you come from? That that's a literal thing that they did. What? Okay. I I can't with the show. So okay. It 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 it's just getting worse, guys, because they're now in realization that uh they, they need to disappear. Quimir somehow disappeared and they're like don't don't know what to do and then oh May's all like, hey, I know a spot that you we can get away from, okay? I know how to get out of here. So we watch as the Jedi are are coming up and we watch as like they appear at the freaking uh the elevator shaft thing and we watch nepo baby just use the force to open it up and they all walk in the tense music's going on they're all walking around doing stuff and then nepo baby i believe oh no 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 here it is here it is they get to the chasm okay they get to the chasm and may tells osha we need to climb down this is how may survived that fall into the abyss by the way and i don't know how so okay they're they're climbing down and uh, or maybe yeah, yeah 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 they're climbing down they get to this little outlet point and i i want to i want to go back to this okay i want to go back to this shot real quick you can see that's an internal drop 
So they climb down to this whole shaft right here. And when they get into the shaft, May says, yeah, I was sucked into the shaft and that's how I survived. How did you get sucked into a shaft like that? How, how did any of that happen? I don't know, but that, that, that's how she survived was magically getting sucked into a shaft. Now, that doesn't explain how she acquired food, how she survived the winters, how she survived all that. We still don't know how that, how she was taken care of at age eight till now. But this is how she survived the fall. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's all idiotic and, and stupid. So, okay. For, they make it out to the courtyard and they're looking around and, oh my God, uh, freaking Nepo baby is now using the force and seeing everything that happened is like n noticing all the, all the moments when they first showed up. And then they see Soul's body there and she walks over to Soul's body after she tells them all to go scan out, fan out, find them. And, and she's staring at Soul's body and you see Quimir in the corner watching her the whole time and he watches as she reaches leans down and says something to him gets up she looks where Quimir was and he's gone we then get to the outlet of that shaft and we watch as the girls run away they now the tracking jedi now have basil and they're going to use that to track her uh they they end we cut back to the girls and look it's the tree yay they're at the tree and they're they're starting to talk they're they're like embracing it's like we, we care about each other and they're starting to do that. Oh, you, that weird like twin girl poem. And they're, they're talking and like one of them says, where did we learn that poem from? I don't know. I thought I heard it from you. I, I don't know. But then Quimir ninjas behind them. Cause he's a ninja guys. That's the only explanation. He goes like, if you stay here, the Jedi will find you. And they're like, we'll explain everything that happened. We'll explain what soul did it's fine we're not gonna have a problem and then osha's like no we can't do that because if they do do that and they know your power they're gonna treat you the same way they treated mom and they're gonna kill you i don't know why but they're saying that they're gonna kill her i i don't get it i don't understand what's happening but that's apparently the plan so okay the ultimate plan is osha's gonna go off with Quimir. And they're gonna get trained in to be a Sith. So Osha, this whole time, who's supposed to be our protagonist, is now gonna go be a Sith Lord. That's your answer. Yeah, yeah. This whole time, our hero is gonna be a Sith. They're not gonna like team up and become Jedi. They're not gonna, you know, do the whole thing. They're gonna be Sith because the show's supposed to be morally gray, and maybe the Sith are the right guys or something like that. No, no. Yeah, the, the, the Sith win in the end. The Sith win. So, okay, she's going to go off with Quimir to be trained as a Sith. And then they, their other plan is they're going to leave May here to take care of the Jedi. But they're going to wipe her mind so that she doesn't know where they are. Because they would interrogate her and try to figure out where they are and who they are. So, so that's their whole plan. So by, by the end of it... They, they do this loving embrace, crying, uh, and then Quimir wipes her memory, leaves her there. They run off, and that, that's that. Jedi come running up with ba attack Basil all at the ready. He, they, they show up to May. May raises her hand because, like, what did I do? What's wrong? Where am I? And, and that's that. Cut back to Coruscant, where we watch as freaking osha's being or may whichever one it is getting is now getting ushered into nepo baby's freaking chambers she says release the restraints and they talk and they go like D do you know where you are or what you did and they said I, I they said i killed somebody but i don't remember and then nepo baby's like do you remember like what's your last thoughts and she harkens back to the end of the freaking back la back moment where they killed my mom i need to run to tell somebody i don't remember who blah 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 well, then Vernestra starts laying it out. It's like, a Jedi did a really bad thing. And he did it because he cared about you guys. But he killed your mom. He, he did awful things. It's horrible what happened. But I need your help. Does the name Osha ring any bells? And she's all like, no, but... I, I, uh, does the name Osha ring any bells? And she's like, maybe. And she's like, I need your help to find an apprentice of mine 
who has one who has become evil and that's the confirmation that Quimir was her apprentice we then have this like over talk moment going on where we cut cut back to freaking nepo baby talk like walking up to soul and we see what she said to him and he's she's all like i'm sorry and this whole time she's speaking to like the the synod and stuff and she's like revealing everything she's like 16 years ago four jedi were stationed on the planet brindock and they did something awful they encountered a a force cult filled with witches and they decided to take matters into their own hands and killed them all saving girls and riddled with guilt soul began doing all this stuff killing everybody and and by the end of it when we got there he was already dead and we believe he killed himself and uh, yeah that that's that's the ultimate thing so yeah they're they're now gonna go hunt down Quimir and osha and try to save them and stop what they're doing cut back to osha and Quimir now on the planet and you have this whole moment where Quimir walks up to her she's sith he's like this and they look out at the sunset and he grabs her hand to feel all to feel all romantic and stuff and looking at the sunset as violins begin and you think the episode's basically over and it's not because mother Ver vanestra whatever nepo lady guys they really really want a season two really want a season two because she walks in says sorry to disturb you master but we need your help and it's revealed to be yoda yeah, they got Yoda there at the very end. You happy, guys? There's your Yoda. So Yoda had to have known that there was a Sith. She knows that there's a Sith. Everybody knows that there's a Sith, but they're not going to tell anybody that there's, there's a Sith. They're covering it up again. They're continuing to cover stuff up. They're just covering things up. We saw it coming from a mile away. Oh, my God. Is this a real shocker? By the end of it all, it's just dumb. Everything's dumb. We were able to see everything coming from a mile away. The big the matrix style combat, the bullet time, all, all slow mode. It was stupid. They did it horribly. It looked awful, hideous. The story itself w was just dumb. In the end, the Sith won. The Sith were victorious. The bad guys got away with it. Oh my god, so so bad for killing freaking May and Osha's mom when she went demon baby or demon creature on them randomly out of nowhere. He didn't know what was going on. Tensions were high. He stabs her and it's like I was gonna let Osha go tell that before all this stuff happens. So like everything could have been solved relatively easily. And no, bad. But oh, all the Jedi are bad because they covered it up. N none of it made sense. All of it's bad. And at the very end, they're showing how much they want that season two. How badly they want that season two. I don't think they're gonna get it. I I, I don't. I just I doubt they're gonna get it. And I'm starting to become very very believing. And that's why freaking Leslie Headland goes out there all the time. And goes like, this is what really happened. This is what really happened. This is what really happened. It, it, it's ridiculous. There was a time not too long ago where she said at the end of every season you should have everything should be good fine i have a, this whole plan to have the season wrapped up all the mysteries will be answered no need to for a season two but there is a need for a season two i got some more mysteries already planned nothing was wrapped up you 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 still have more mysteries and you're trying to set up a season two and you ain't gonna get it you ain't gonna get it and nobody's gonna want it i mean youtubers kind of want it because it's great for views but outside of that nobody really wants this garbage this was awful this whole show was awful and they just found a way to make it worse and worse and worse over time lore canon breaking lore breaking just logic breaking story breaking i don't know who may is as a character she keeps jumping between who like her actual motivations osha says that she's not gonna become a sith she's gonna say a jedi and then becomes a sith and kills everybody like there, there's nothing good here and the only good character at the, like actually no all, all the characters are just awful everybody's awful there's nobody likable in this whole show. People like the actor who, like Quimir's actor, people like Soul's actor, but that's because they're actually acting. They're actually emoting. They're actually putting in the effort. Their characters are garbage. Everything about them is garbage. And now you're trying to wrap Yoda into this? You're trying to wrap freaking uh, Plagueis into this? Nah, 
Not going to happen. People are going to reject it, just like they rejected this. And it's so laughable that she thinks she's ever going to get a season two. That, that That's the funniest part about this. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video go live. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.